Welcome to Lakewood United Church of Christ, a congregation where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you're welcome here. Our Ash Wednesday service is a simple service with the blessing and imposition of ashes, a ritual that reminds us of our mortality and that from God's good dirt we have come and to dust that same dirt we will someday return. We also will celebrate the sacrament of communion with the reminder that all are welcome at Christ's table. So if you haven't done so, please pause and gather something to eat and something to drink for our communion time. We hope and pray that this service may be a moment to reflect on that we are but finite creatures, yet we rest in God's infinite love. At any moment in this pre-recorded service, if you need to pause for more reflection time, please do so. There is also a bulletin if you would like to follow along with written prayers, or if you would rather just listen, that is always an option too. However we worship, may we know that the Spirit of the living God is with us this evening as we begin our entry into the season of Lent. opening prayer is adapted from a liturgy by Jan Richardson and is used with permission. If you have a bulletin, you are invited to read the bolded portions along with Reverend Molly. All those days that we felt like dust, like dirt, as if all we had to do was turn our face toward the wind and be scattered to the four corners or swept away by the smallest breath as insubstantial. Have we forgotten what the Holy One can do with dust? This is the day we freely say we are scorched. This is the hour we are marked by what has made it through the burning. This is the moment we ask for blessing that lives within ancient ashes, that makes its home inside the soil of this sacred earth. 
So let us be marked not for sorrow, and let us be marked not for shame. Let us be marked not for false humility or for thinking we are less than, but for claiming what God can do within dust, within the dirt, within the stuff of which the world is made, and the stars that blaze in our bones, and the galaxy that spiral inside the smudge we bear. If you have the bulletin in front of you, you are invited to join in this unison prayer. And at the end, when we do silent confession, if you need to take some more time, please do so. Most holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another before the whole company of heaven, we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, O God, and hear now these confessions spoken silently from our hearts to yours. Amen. Amen. Beloved in Christ, hear now the good news and believe it. God has heard our prayers and knows our hearts. By God's inexhaustible grace, you are forgiven. You are free from your burden. You are free to live and free to love. Thanks be to God. Amen. Our scripture a reader this evening is Curtis Reader, and thank you, Curtis, for offering scripture. Tonight's first reading is from Psalm 51, verses 1 and 2, and verses 10 through 13. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Tonight's second reading is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 and 6, and verses 16 through 21. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father, who is in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you fast, 
Do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. We are now invited into the ritual of receiving ashes. While using ashes from palms is most traditional, any marking will work. You can use the dirt from your yard, you can use olive oil, you can simply use water. It is the act, not the element, that is most important. This can be a difficult ritual for some, which is fine and normal. It is hard to peer into our own mortality, Yet this is our invitation, to be reminded physically that we were created from the dust of the earth, the galaxy's very own substance, created from the breath of the spirit, from the water of life, and that the same dust and ash we will return to. Like communion, the invitation to participate is not because we must, but because we may. Ashes are traditionally placed on the forehead, a symbolic reminder of our baptisms. But if you would like to receive the ashes on the back of your hand, that is an option as well. Maybe you have already received your ashes today. Maybe you'll be marking yourself. Maybe you'll take turns with others in your home. Ashes or no ashes, forehead or hand, God's blessing be upon you this night and in this season. We will bless the ashes together and then take a moment as the ashes are imposed to say this, you, then insert the name, are God's beloved. From ashes you came and to ashes you will return. Or you can say, from dust you came, and to dust you will return. Using names is an important part of our identity, so feel free to use your own first name or the first name of the person that you are giving ashes to as you engage in this ritual. So we will take a few moments now to bless the ashes or the dirt or the oil or whatever it is that you'll be using this evening. So be with us in prayer. Bless, O God, these ashes, dirt of the earth, dust of the galaxies and stars. May they be a reminder that we, what we are made of, and that we belong to all creation. May all who receive them, may all who look upon them, be moved to repentance and renewal for their own sakes and for the sake of your broken yet still beautiful world. May these ashes be no empty sign, but by your mercy, may all who bear them live what they signify. Your steadfast love for our mortal flesh, your power to save and transform us, and your boundless mercy. Praise to you, Creator. In life and in death, we belong to you. Amen. Amen. Let us engage in the ritual of the ashes as our hymn is played. Kurt, you are God's beloved. From ashes you came, and to ashes you will return. Molly, you are God's beloved. From the dust of the earth you were formed, to the dust of the earth you shall return. Give me a clean heart so I may serve you. God, fix my heart.
If you haven't already done so, now is the time to gather what you will be using for communion. You can use bread and wine. You can use a cracker or a cookie or whatever you would like. Again, the specific elements are less important than the intention and the ritual that underlies the sacrament. We are now invited to God's great feast of love. It is a time to remember the past, center ourselves in the present, and imagine the beloved community God calls together now and in the future. All are welcome. There are no rules, no tests, no conditions. Christ calls us. Come, for all things have been made ready. Eat this bread, drink. Come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Trust in me and you will not thirst. We remember the simple and embodied story. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he feasted the Passover feast with his friends with his disciples. And after the meal, he took bread. He gave thanks to God for it. He blessed it and he broke it. And he said to them, this is my body broken open for you, broken open for all. Every time you eat of it, remember me. In the same way also, after supper, he took the cup he gave thanks to God for it. He blessed it and poured it and said, This is the cup of the new covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Every time you drink of this cup, remember me. So we remember and we eat and we drink and we are made whole at God's table of grace. Take now your bread and repeat after me. 
The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The bread of life. The bread of life. Broken for our wholeness. Broken for our wholeness. Take and eat. Repeat after me, the cup of the new covenant. The cup of the new covenant. Poured out for all for the forgiveness of sins. Poured out for all for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. Let us pray together our prayer of thanksgiving. We give you thanks, O God, for the simplicity and splendor of this sacred meal. May we be fed, nourished, strengthened, and empowered to serve you, to serve our neighbors, and to serve the wider world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our closing prayer and benediction come to us from the Reverend Sarah R. and are used with permission. O God of open doors, open arms, and open conversations, we know deep in our souls that you are forever inviting us in. Again and again, you invite us to take another step closer, another step deeper, another step further in this journey of faith. So with your invitation in our hands, we pray for strength and for wisdom. Show us the right step in this journey. We are here. You are here. This is holy ground. May this holy Lenten journey begin once again. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. Amen.